Step number two is to then set up a dedicated inbox to receive job applications and turn on your autoresponder. I love this step. Okay, so you've tweaked your job ad and the applications are rolling in. Oh my gosh, they are flooding your inbox and you can't keep up. What I want you to do is set up a different inbox for job applications only. Then turn on your autoresponder. This step will make sure you're not manually reviewing each and every email and resume that comes in. Now, your auto reply should remind the candidate of your requirements. You know, one year's experience, must have a police check, whatever your requirements are. Um, you want to remind them of the requirements that were probably already outlined in your job ad and help them self-select into the next phase of your onboarding process. So what you're doing here is you're minimizing the number of people who progress and the number of people that you need to manually make contact with. Now, personally, what I do is in my email reply, I remind candidates of the requirements and I say to them, look, if you meet these requirements, which I'm outlining again below, then I invite you to sign up for an information session. Yep, I invite all of them to an information session. If they believe they meet my requirements, then I invite them to come along. And this means I don't have to review a single email or resume until they have made an effort to physically show up to my session and find out more about the role. Now, this isn't to say that I'm not still going to check their resume at a later date, but what I'm doing is I'm turning the process on its head. So instead of reviewing the thousand applications that might have come in, I'm only going to review the ones of the people who bother to physically show up in the room for the information session.